send for me? Yes, I did. Please sit. Oh, Father, not again. I have an important appointment in Abuja. And my flight time is almost ready. You're very silly to say that. Look, if you know the huge responsibility you have on your shoulders, you will not leave my side any minute. Will this responsibility stop me from living my own life? Oh, come on. You have no life of your own apart from the throne. You are the crown prince of Amaji Kingdom. Okay? The throne and your subjects are your life. You don't have any other life without them. Maybe I'm not saying this the way you're saying it. I should throw away my life because I want to be the king? You are very foolish to say that. Look, don't make me believe that I, the wild lion of Amaji Kingdom, gave birth to a weakling. Living my life doesn't make me a weakling. You better know this. A commoner cannot come out of the loins of a king. Okay? You cannot live the life of a commoner where you have a royal blood flowing through your veins. If you think you can disgrace me, you better think again. Because I will not allow you. Alright? I sent you abroad to study. So that by the time you take over the throne of your fathers, you will do better than I have done. What you should be thinking right now is how to learn the customs and traditions of our people, of this kingdom. Is that understood? I think the princess has been haunted. Eh? What is wrong with you? What are you saying? Please don't let them hear you. Don't let them hear you. Ah, she, she, she has been acting strange now. Can't you see it? Biao, you do. I hope a strange force is not haunting this palace. Hey. Oh, this girl. My problem with you is that you talk too much. You talk way too much. Please, I beg you. Don't put me in trouble in this palace. Please. Please. Uh, yes, the princess might be going through an emotional trauma. Uh, yeah. Yes, a lot of people are going through a lot of things these days. Yes. But, come to think of it, what could be bothering the princess? You are asking me? I mean, her father is the king and a very wealthy one. No, 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 no. Nothing could make her develop an emotional trauma. Aww. That would make her behave like that. Ha, no, no, no. But Amaka, you seem to know what is wrong with the princess. <laughs> this your tongue will lead you to a situation where you have to tell the king what is wrong with his daughter. Amaka, please avoid me. Avoid me. Avoid me with this, your gossip. I was never like this before. You are trying to turn me to a gossip. Okay. Avoid me. I should avoid you, Abi. Hmm. Mind your business. Stay away from gossip. Now you, now you go still cry for it. Too. Now you go still cry you. No problem. No problem. They will come and jam you. Go see. Go
There is a festival in our land referred to as or the festival. It's all about uh, As a one. As a one. Dad, are you with me at all? Yeah, Dad, I'm listening. Really? Yeah, I'm listening to you, Dad. Good. Now tell me, what was the last thing I said? It's about Ngene River. Yeah, Ngene River. As a one. Dad. Why is it that you are proving to me that I made the greatest mistake of my life for sending you abroad for your education. Huh? I mean, what will I tell my ancestors? That I raised a successor who does not know anything about the customs and traditions of our people? Dad, I'm sorry. I just got a message from my old time friend. That's why I'm a bit distracted. You were distracted because you got a message from your old time friend, right? Now tell me, what have you learned from all the things I've been teaching you about our kingdom? Come on, Dad, we just started. Our learners will proceed. to tell me the truth. Do I behave in an abnormal way? I mean, do I act differently? No, my princess. It's just that sometimes you express a certain unusual feeling. I just don't know what triggers that in you. A friend told me that I sound and behave abnormally. I mean, strangely. So, I just want you to tell me. Do I really act mad? God forbid. God forbid, my princess. You will never act mad. Don't let that thought get into your mind. Have you heard of a mad princess before? No, but... I... No but. No but. I have never heard of a mad princess before and you will never be the first. Come and sit and eat your fruit. Talking like that now. Huh? Open this gate for us. Come on. The sanity bag. Onyeke. 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 Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? 
The elders are not smiling. Even the, 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 the villagers, nobody is smiling. Eh? What kind of community is this? Even in Obiapo community, people are still smiling. But here, no, no, nobody is seeing anybody's teeth. Are you sure this is the right place to walk? Did I mistake or anything? Especially that one in the front. Igwe. May your reign be long. Yes, sir. But I must say this. There is no reason why the, or the festival should not be done. For it's a once in a lifetime thing. It will accord us a huge privilege of witnessing the event. It changed the river. In case you have forgotten, let me remind you. The other festival was first introduced by Igwe Obukaria V. He noticed that his first son was not fit to be his heir apparent. So he introduced the other dainty so that people will not see his first son as the automatic heir to his throne. Now, if a king has more than one son, he knows who amongst the sons is fit to take over from him. So, during the other festival, he introduces his son that he deems fit to take over from him as his heir apparent. That was the essence of that festival. Well, I am very conversant with that story because I'm a true son of my father. Good. As a true son of your father, you should have also known that I have only one son. That means he is the automatic heir to the throne. But that is not the only one. Look, I don't want to further this discussion. Your Majesty, there is something that... Uh, it changed every day. Are you trying to take the kingship to your family? I have not said so. I just want us to do the right thing. Uh -huh. So this is it? So you mean I'll be doing things the wrong way, right? If I may remind you, for the past 20 years, I have trained over 200 youths through school. And two of your children are beneficiaries. I brought electricity to this kingdom with my hard-earned money. I built three schools and sank seven boreholes for this kingdom. And now you come here to tell me that I'm doing things the wrong way? Is that why all of you are here? Is that what you come here to tell me? Your Majesty, please, don't take it that way. Actually, we are here to ask from you, why don't you want to celebrate the Ode Festival? But now we have heard your explanations and are very clear. It is not clear enough to deprive us of the privilege of witnessing this festival. How dare you point your fingers at me when you're talking to me? Your Majesty, I'm not pointing fingers at you. You are! Okay, I'm sorry about that, Your Majesty. Then make your point without pointing your fingers at me. Another important thing about the uh, festival is that it also accords us the opportunity of knowing what to expect from our incoming king. I thought I was the only one thinking like this. We need to know. 
I do not think that this is the right time to destroy the king with this issue. Yes, he has done so much for the community and he is still doing more. At this point, we are not against him introducing a successor. We all know that he has only one son. As such, nobody is competing him. He is the only person, we all know, nobody will compete him in the kingship of the, of the community. I see. Now, so, this is how you are going to show me your love for all the things I've been doing for this kingdom. No problem. Well, I really do not hate you. I'm only trying to protect the interest of the land. an important meeting with the elders of this land. You are supposed to be there. I have no business with those elders. How dare you say a thing like this? These elders are the ones you are supposed to be close to at this time so that you can learn the culture and traditions of this land. Mom, please, I need a breathing space. I'm already learning from father. You cannot stop learning. You learn all the time. You don't know anything about our cultures. Why then did you people send me abroad to study when there are lots of things for me to study here? The other day, father was teaching me about different staffs and their functions. The other day, it was beads. The other day, it was carvings. How can I start learning all these things by this time of my life? Come on. Listen, you sound as if you are under a spell. Listen, you are the heir to the throne of this land. It is a privilege that many want, but they cannot get. You should never stop learning. In fact, you should learn with joy. Maybe I'm yet to know why I will have to throw away my life in order to be the king. I don't get it. <sighs> I need some air. You, you, you are blocking the ventilation. Just go and join them if you want. Hey! What's the matter with you like that? You cannot say. I have told you. You cannot say. You cannot say. You cannot do this. 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 You cannot do What I know. Well, like How can you? You got there, you couldn't say anything. Hey. What, what, what do you expect to say? Like you, you sometimes you talk as if eh? you are. You, huh? you, you don't understand you. What are you saying? You people are hypocrites. How could you cover the truth because of the good the man did? No matter how good a gesture is, it shouldn't cover the truth. I never, I never covered any truth. I did not. Then why didn't you say it before the king? Oh, you were afraid of him, isn't it? How can you say a thing like that in Zeribe? Since you've known me in this land, have I shown any sign of fear in whatever I do? But you showed it today. How do you mean? You couldn't even say anything before the king. Even you, a former. Even you. How did that? Agucha. Don't you ever mention my name again. Mm. You people are very wicked, very ungrateful set of people. 
How can you be fighting a man that all of you have benefited from individually? Are you not wicked? Are you not wicked? Why have you always been a fifth columnist? Who told you we are fighting the king? Who told you? Look, if pushing to uphold our culture is fighting anyone, then let it be. Can we all listen? I have learned how not to fight the king. Yes. I have learned how not to fight the king to do what we want him to do. Because he might get angry and fight back. And we cannot fight him. He's the king. His authority. Whatever he says is final. We can only lure him to do what we want to do. So what we should do is to put heads together. To reason how we can make him to do things the way they should be done for everybody. Look at, look, look at him talking. Why didn't you say these things there when we were with him? This is laughable. What would he say? Go. What is it that cannot work? Ah! Let's is go. It say no, girls, woman. Have we tried that it doesn't work? Look at this one. Somebody you're, 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 you're mentioning huh? my name. You say, Ruben, you are just making noise. We can't people. You are talking. We can Excuse me. Yes, my friends. What's your name? My name is Kate, my friends. Kate. Oh, nice. Kate, has someone told you that you are very beautiful? Thank you, my friends. And I would like to be your friend. <laughs> no, my friends. I'm sorry, my prince. Oh, what was that? You should be happy that your prince is finding you attractive. My prince, I can't. My prince. You can do what? Come. Listen. I'm not gonna hurt you, alright? I just want you to be my friend. <laughs> it's my prince, I'm sorry. Tried to molest me. What? Why would he do that? I don't know. I am even surprised. I thought he's a responsible man. Oh, uh, maybe he's beginning to like you. Like me? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think he wants to hit and run. Hit and run? Yes, I. Kate will not allow that. <laughs> ah, well, eh, oh, my beautiful girl. Oh. Eh, yeah, but you don't have sense. You don't have sense. Look at what you're saying. Saying rubbish. That you will not allow what to happen. Hey, he wants to hit and run. Amaka. What is it? What are you saying? Please avoid me. Let me talk to the beautiful girl here that is attracted to the prince because you are not attracted. To the prince. Just continue with this, your, you know, proper upside down. You are mingling with the princess in this palace. Yeah? Allow me, please. Like I was saying, eh, I don't want the prince, so I don't want him to do this. I will not allow him to do this. You, you, are, you, are, you are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. So you are okay with this salary of being paid in this palace. You are okay with that, Abby. You don't want to enjoy life. Eh? Answer me now, you don't want to enjoy life. Oh. I'm tired though. Hey, eh? okay. You are tired of me. You know you will love it when you do this. Go, go, go. Hey, you really want to enjoy it. I'm I'm a what if the king hears you? Hear yeah, what? I, I think you are busy with this, Abby. Please, do your work and let me be. 
I didn't mean I was the one that the prince chose. Eh? I won't stand here and do rubbish with you. I won't even say that. No sense. Just know. Is this girl, is she okay? I don't know. I'm tired. Me. Not attracted to the prince. Your Majesty. Something spiritual is happening to our children. The water is getting to the chest level. And if something is not done, I sense more danger. I sense more danger. I can't believe what I saw today. Imagine people I helped turning against me. Who are they and what is their aim? Their aim is to take the kingship of this kingdom from my family. The people have gone to the extent of using charms against the royal household. Your Majesty, this calls for drastic measures. You have to see the chief priest so that he will take actions against them immediately. Oh no. I will go beyond the boundaries of this kingdom. The gods have revealed my enemies to me and I will handle this issue the best way possible. You have to, you have to handle it. My own children. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? 
Who amongst you went to the kitchen last night? Yes, I said it. <laughs> I said it now, but you thought I was lying. What rubbish are you saying? I, I told her that I heard footsteps roaming around this house last night. But she, she thought I was lying now. How does that answer my question? And you, Kate, you're not saying anything. I think I'm beginning to believe how. <laughs> See now? Eh? Someone is beginning to believe me. What eh? is happening here? Good morning, my friend. What is going on here? What are you people talking about? I went to the kitchen earlier this morning. The pot was opened, the soup soured, and all the meat disappeared. I know who did it. Huh? Where is that food? Where is that boy? Where is that? Yes, you. Oh, so you are not afraid. Eh? How dare you? How dare you go near my house? How dare you? Oh, so you want to lie to me? I, I'm, I'm not lying, ma. I, I didn't go to the port. I, I'm telling you the truth. You're trying to lie to me. I will make sure you regret stepping your feet into this palace. Oh my God, ma, I'm telling oh, you the truth. I... Your Highness. Why would a grown-up man like me go to the port? For what? I, I didn't... Take your boys. Hmm? Tie him up. Beat him blue, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Beat him beyond recognition. Hungry teeth. Please, please, I didn't, I didn't. Hey. I don't blame you. I didn't do anything. I didn't have honesty. Ma, ma, please. Ma, please, I didn't do anything, ma. Ma. Ma, please, please. What is it? There is a problem. What's the problem? Your mother. She has ordered for almost execution of the new kids, man. Why? What has he done? I went to the kitchen this morning. The pot was open. I think someone tampered with the pot of soup. And you think he did it? Uh, yes. Sincerely sorry for countering your orders. But the truth is, I did it. You did what? You took meat from the pot? Yes, mother. I saw it in my dream. Then I woke up and, and I saw it happened. Lolo, you see? You see what I told you? They are hypnotizing my daughter so that she will do things that they can hold against me. This is not as minor as we take it. How could we continue like this? Something needs to be done. Just something has to be done because, because I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm... It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, okay? Your Majesty. 
The chief priest is a very strong man. Men come from far and wide to consult with him. Please, invite him to the palace if you don't want to go to him. No, no. I told you this before. I don't want to discuss this with him. Okay? Please don't worry. I will handle this the best way possible. Believe me. Okay? My prince. As you can see, I'm going to the central school field to play football. So if you like, you can take the entire palace guards and come along with me. Alright? What is wrong with you? Huh? The palace is restless? And you are going out to play football? I mean, that is not the right thing to do right now. I knew it. I knew you were going to come out here to stop me. Why, father? Why are you stopping me? Young man, go in there and get dressed. We are going to Okboto to consult no man. Father, I go all? nowhere. Father, I go nowhere. What have I done to deserve a close marking from you? Is it one? Are you talking to me like that? Huh? You are the heir apparent to the throne of Fabaji Kingdom. You are my first and only son, unfortunately. Let me tell you, it is my responsibility to instill sanity and decorum into thy thick skull. Now go in there and get dressed and let's go. Father, honestly, I can't take this anymore. I can't. Please allow me to go and play football. Why can't I go out? He said I'm the heir to the throne. Then I should, I should be allowed to go out. Why are you stopping me, please, Father? Allow me to go out. Are you daring me? Now go in there. Change and let us go. Father, please, allow me to go out. I want to go and play football. Will you keep quiet as I go in there? And I'm in there. I'm waiting for you. Are you going to catch me here forever? No, I might just... What's, what, what's his majesty again? What, what's that supposed to mean? You want to stop me? You're such a bully. Don't worry, I'm gonna kick your balls one of these days. You hear from me? Bastard. Father! But I don't like this, honestly, I don't like it. Why would you be stopping me from... What watered your value at the palace that made you stay this long without having any message for the king? The king threw away the matter because of the grinding stone. Failing to realize that both are of equal importance. Is that why you stayed away from the palace? I am only a woman, but I know that the duty of the chief priest is to keep the safety and sanity of the palace. Why have you left the palace in shambles and make the people to imagine vain things? I am only a messenger of the gods. I follow their instructions. Are you trying to tell me that the gods instructed you to stay away from the palace? There is a limit to what I can tell you. But go! Tell the king to fix the rift between him and the gods. Rift? Is he aware of this rift? 
He cannot deny it. She went out with father. I didn't go anywhere with anybody. I'm tired of this whole shit. I think it's high time I left this country. Oh, please. Don't let father hear you. He's already angry that you're not learning fast. And now you're seeing this. Okay. Who do you want to leave the throne for? I don't think I need this throne as much as you people want me to have it. I consider anything that transcends my freedom as a suspect. I'm not cut out for all this. That's not fair. Look, you are the only son of this family. And you must carry the responsibilities that follows it. I'm not saying I'm rejecting the throne. All I'm saying is that it shouldn't deprive me of my freedom. Now I know. Now I know that this whole thing is spiritual. There is someone that is trying to take away the kingship from our family somewhere else. That explains why we have been spiritually manipulated. No, I'm not being manipulated by anybody. I just need my freedom. That's all. You know, I have been acting so strange lately. I have seen myself running mad. Mad? Yes, yes. I know it sounds scary, but that's the reality. I have been to different hospitals and nothing was diagnosed. It is now obvious that I am being hypnotized. Look, if you leave this place today, you will have nowhere else to call home. Apart from this place being the palace, it is also your home. What you don't fight, today will frustrate you tomorrow and then you will later come back to meet it. Ezenwa, when you become king, you can change whatever you are not comfortable with. You can, you can make this community what you want it to be. But for now, please, you must carry the responsibilities of this family.
Why are you sad? You were carried away. What's wrong? I... I was accused of stealing meat from the pot and the, the queen ordered that I'll be beaten beyond recognition. Just because of meat? If not that the princess saved me, I would have been leaking my wounds by now. But who could still meet in a palace where everybody's been paid well and fed well? Everyone here should be proud and thank God for the privilege. Most of you here have been paid more than the most graduates out there. You're right. But let me tell you the truth, my prince. You see, when I, when I got the job to work here, I was really, really happy. I was so, so overwhelmed because this is the opportunity I've been looking for all my life. I've, I've always wanted to work in the palace. But you see, since I came, it's, it's, been, it's been a different feeling altogether. It's not what I expected that I'm actually seeing now. I feel there is, there is so much going on, so much unrest going on in the palace at the moment. And um, How do you mean? You see, the palace is the definition of everything good and beautiful, but it's really not like that here. Everyone is angry. The elders are coming in here looking sad and, you know, coming out of the palace angry. You're either fighting the guards or, or you know, having an argument with your dad. The princess is... is yelling all the time. They, 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 I mean, there's so much going on and this is not what I expected. I expected a, a peaceful palace where you come and, you know, have rest of mind, but the scuffle going on is, is actually uncalled for, if you ask me. You sound very intelligent. What's your level of education? I'm... I'm a first-class graduate of a Boeing State University. And why are you a gateman here? You know, like I said before, I've always wanted to work in the palace. It's, it's, it's a dream come true for me. It's not like there are no jobs out there, but I've always wanted to work here. I've always wanted to serve the king. But with what I'm seeing, my prince, um, thinking otherwise. Apart from here being the palace, it's also my home. What is going on here? What is happening? You know you are my most trusted guard. I don't want you to let me down on this particular task. I have never failed you before, Your Highness, and will never do. I will ever remain loyal to you, Your Highness. You must be very careful in this particular assignment. I don't want anything that will dent my reputation, okay? Yes, Your Majesty. You know it is not an easy tax. I will try as much as possible to make it a clean one. I have boys on standby already.
trying your best is not good enough. Okay? Like I said, you are my most trusted. And remember, my ears are to the ground. Okay? You hear from me, so, Your Majesty. <laughs> Why are you still awake? Why have you not come to bed? Your Majesty, what do you hold against the gods? Where, where is that question coming from? I learned you're not at peace with the gods. And I know the gods cannot be wrong. Tell me, what is it you're hiding from me? Hiding? What are you talking about? Don't keep me in the dark, Your Majesty. For the fact that my children are being affected, please open up to me. I could be of help. Don't tell me that you go asking about the palace. I've been here for so long to know that no deity will open up to anybody concerning the palace except the king. Your Majesty, please, look at my children. How dare you go asking questions about the palace? How dare you? It's no longer about the truth, nor is it about the people. Please, please. If you know what you can do to make my children fine again, I'm begging you. Your Majesty, please, make them fine again, please. <laughs> Lolo, I am going to advise you for the very last time. Don't delve into issues that will cost you your life. Is that understood? Any issues that affect my children calls for my attention and I will go to any length to protect them. Well, in that case, <sighs> I will have to send a message to your people. If anything happens to you, I shouldn't be blamed for it. You. Hmm? you no longer come to visit us that Mama has been asking of you. Um, something came up. What is it? Come. Are you having any issues with my brother? If I'm talk to me, you know I can talk to Nzuba about it. Like you know I've waited for your brother. I mean, throughout his years of university, I've been patient, and you of all people should know that now. Especially now that he has gotten a good job, he just changed overnight. I'm surprised. That job is the problem. See, uh -huh. I will never talk to him again until he changes that job. Okay, 
the former. You should be happy that he got that job. See, let me tell you, with the amount of money my brother earns every month, if he continues that job in the next six months, I am very, very sure he will come and pay your bride price. Trust me. Neka, look at me now. Look at me. Look at me. Neka, do I look like someone that will settle for a common gate man? See, if he likes, he should earn one million naira per month. I won't even marry. What am I saying? I won't even give it a second thought. Yuck! Gate man. If I'm my brother is not a gate man, come, who told you that he's a gate man? Hey. He told me himself he works as a gate man at Amaji village. I bet your brother now. Drop this job, but he refused. So what will you have me do? But that's not what Zubay told us. That's not what Zubay told my man, I. He will not tell you. If he's not your brother, eh, I will ask you to go and marry him. But since he's your brother, you can go and make inquiries yourself. As for me, I've moved on. I might even get married before he comes back. Bye bye. Ivoma. Uh uh. Zubay gets mad. What is she saying? If I'm not that one to become them all you must pass through fire No one picks up a dead lion Right in his compound is recorded when we were As a one You look disturbed What's the problem? Father are you having issues with the elders of this land? Ezewa, I'm ashamed of you. Look, you don't stop making me...